Hi everyone, I'm Jesse Kral. Welcome to Tommy Media's The Locker Room. St. Thomas hopes to continue its undefeated season when Oxford comes to O'Shaughnessy Stadium Saturday. The Aggies are tied for third in the Mayak with a 4-2 conference record and are coming off a loss to Concordia Moorhead. The Tommies had a, another impressive performance last weekend, beating Hamlin 51-9. I'm joined today by Coach Glenn Caruso and senior linebacker Mike Valisano. Thanks for joining us, guys. Good to be here. Thank you. Coach, last week against Hamlin, you had many guys get reps, some due to injury, though, including backup quarterback Ben Duncan right. and backup running back Jack Kaiser. How does this speak for the depth of your squad? I think that's kind of a microcosm of how the season's gone. We've, uh, If you want to put a title on this year, it's probably something along the lines of winning the war of attrition. We lost a lot of great players to graduation, which is what we should do. And we backed that up with uh, a great senior class like Michael and the rest of his seniors. Um, and we filled those roles. But throughout the season, this has been by far the most tumultuous year when it comes to injuries. Like you alluded to, certainly we have some guys that can step in. I think what that makes us feel most comfortable as a staff and as a program is that we're deep. And if we get the right types of guys, the guys that have bought into the program, they'll be willing to work and wait. And they've done that. And when given the opportunity, um, they're making the most of it. Ben did that, even though we've got to take care of the ball security. Jack Kaiser did that, but it also happened on the offense with a couple of line spots and then a D-line and a linebacker spot as well. So we're fighting through some pretty, uh, a number of injuries and uh, happy with how they've responded so far. Mike, you lead the team with 30 tackles this season. Do you think your lower leg injury from last season has helped motivate you this season? As far as the tackles go, I'm not big on individual accolades. That's just my byproduct of my coaches putting me in the right position. Um, my injury last year, definitely motivating, you know. I realized that my season, my career could get taken away at any time. Uh, I sat on sidelines and watched, you know, my team go through the best season that St. Thomas has, has really ever seen as a football program. So it was hard, but yet motivating. Coach, yeah. early in the season, you did say Augsburg could contend in the Mayak. Right. What makes them so competitive? Ridiculously athletic, and I think it's not just good athletes. I think they're well-placed, uh, certainly tremendous guys on offense. I mean, they have all the skill spots from the wide receivers or running backs to quarterback, and they've balanced that with, uh, with a great offensive line that's much improved over the last couple of years. Their defense still does a nice job. They do let up some points. Uh, they're, not, uh, they're not shut out. Uh, they don't have many shut out or really low performances, but they do a good job of not allowing an offense of getting in a rhythm. So when we sat here two months ago, and I think a lot of people thought, really, do you think they can contend for a Mayak? And really, they, they, lost, uh, they lost last week by, to Concordia, and then, uh, and then they lost uh, a couple of weeks ago uh, to Bethel, like we talked about, that really tough one. So unbelievable uh, improvement that they have made, and absolutely among the top in the Mayak, uh, a team that we have to be on our A game for. Mike, you were nominated to be on the American Football Coaches Association Good Works team. What does this nomination mean to you? You know, it, it's a great award. I'm, I'm very honored to have that award and be able to have the chance to have that award. Um, you know, I was, I was lucky enough to grow up in a, in a middle class family, a good situation, went to a great, great high school, great college, and I realized that not everyone in this country and in this world is going to have that opportunity. So for me to be able to give back is just an absolute blessing. And now it's time for this week's fan question. Coach, sophomore Kendra Bovey wants to know, when your players graduate, what is one thing you hope they will take away from this experience? Well, I think the answer to that question is probably best suited with what Michael just said. I mean, Michael's a, he's an unbelievable football player, but more importantly, one of the reasons why I love him is because of what he just said. He's a great person. He understands that civic responsibility. And um, I love the fact that our players get that and they understand the position they're in. But uh, if I was to say there's one additional thing, I would say, I love the brotherhood that these guys have on the team. They play hard, they play fast, but most importantly, they play for each other. And I would want them to know that when you get done here as a senior, for one defined period of time, whether it's for four years, whether it's for one year, whether it's for three games, whether it's for one play, you gave your heart to the greater good of St. Thomas football. And I would like them to take pride in understanding that everything that we built here is simply a byproduct of these players and their hard work. If they could take that away, I don't care how many games we win or lose, I'd consider myself wildly successful as a head coach. If you have a question, tweet it to at Tommy Media. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to check TommyMedia.com for the latest campus news. With Coach Glenn Caruso and Mike Valisano, I'm Jesse Krull. We'll see you next time in the locker room. <laughs>